announcement today that could one day change the way we fuel planes, trucks, cars, even the way that we heat our houses. That's right. It's a process that experts say could free the U.S. of its dependence on petroleum diesel fuel. And it all started with a senior at Augsburg College. Brian's future is indeed bright, and we are very, very proud of him. His is a name and face to remember. At the ripe old age of 21, Augsburg senior Brian Crone is a history maker. I really wanted to study a new way to produce biodiesel. Brian found out there is a new way. Working together, Brian, his Augsburg professors, and scientists from Anoka-based Sartec Corporation have come up with a process that scientists say has the potential to revolutionize the fuel industry. Really, the power of this process is in, in its simplicity. The new Magayan process, as it's called, puts alcohol and a variety of waste oils through a high-temperature, high-pressure reactor. Inside, the oils from things like soybeans, coconuts, even algae, react with a catalyst, creating 100% renewable biodiesel fuel. The McGuyan process is it's clean, it's efficient, it's, it's like I said, it's really fast. It can make biodiesel in under six seconds, and um, it's just environmentally friendly. Efficient, environmentally friendly, and cheaper to produce, too. Savings for the transportation industry, can be phenomenal. What began as Brian's simple lab experiment has led to what some say is a modern day miracle in fuel creation. A headline that's still sinking in for this cloquet native and Augsburg student. Well, I think my, my northern Minnesotan modesty is uh, kind of scared by that a little bit, but no, it feels nice and it's just, it's, uh, I'm just so happy to be here and to be working with such great scientists. And, Brian Crone says among the possibilities with this discovery, one day farmers might be able to make fuel for their machinery using oils from their crops. The Magayan process is currently being used to create biodiesel at the Evercat Fuels plant in Anoka. Some of the biodiesel created there is being used to heat the building and run the company's trucks. A new plant in Isanti will be ready in about nine months. Meanwhile, Brian's heading to Washington, D.C. at the end of April to show the Magayan process to members of Congress. Oh, I can, I, can I put my car over there right now and go yeah, fill up? It's such <laughs> a great amazing. idea. Yeah. And uh, the professors today said it was sort of a perfect storm of ideas coming together, and the great news is it, it was all right here in Minnesota. Exactly. We love it. Keep it coming here. Mm -hmm.